Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Las Vegas Super Duper Project in Minecraft. Uh, today we are joined by Chicken in the Water. Um, I'm pretty sure he's been there since like episode 3, along with all these other ones. Uh, I think I remember just throwing a bunch of eggs into the water. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of chickens in there now. But yeah guys, we're over here on this side of the strip because we have a, uh, a new resort. Actually, two new resorts built up for you guys. Um, so we're gonna turn around and take a look at these beautiful ones. Three, two, one, boosh! Look at that. Ooh! Alright, so we're gonna start off here. We have the Cromwell. This is what this one is called, this little one right here. Um, right here, this is supposed to be the logo for the Cromwell, but Minecraft limits this, so this is all we got. Um, it's close enough, um, so I'm happy with that. And then, you know, we got this cute little, like, I don't know, this, this protuberance, whatever you want to call it. Um, I don't know what's in there, but... I just make it in the exterior, so I don't care what's in there. Uh, if we come over to this side, you can see we got some nice windows with these cute little black overhangs for each little window. Ooh, it's so cute, so cute. And then we got these nice bushes going along the road here with this elevated pathway. Whoa, that's crazy. Um, and then these trees just dotted along um, just to add a little bit of a little bit of pizzazz, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Um, so yeah, we come along this road and we can come over to this place, which is actually the entrance, at least for the cars, um, where you drive up and in here I think there's a roundabout, um, I'm not 100% sure, uh, but you know, you drive in there and you offload all your crap and you go inside, you have a good time in this resort, whatever you want to, whatever you want to do. And then right here is the start of a car park, um, which is going to be right here, I haven't built it yet, but I'll get there eventually guys, don't rush me. Okay, that's great. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're coming over here. This side is pretty much the same as the other side. But um, in here, I actually, I do a little bit of research because this is a little ridiculous. Um, but after doing some research, I'm like 99% sure that these windows are looking out at this wall, at this dark wall, which is insane. I can't believe that that's actually a thing. I'm still not certain if that's a thing um, for you people who have stayed at the Cromwell in Las Vegas or, you know, live in Las Vegas. Is this a real thing? Because if it's not, I want to change it, but uh, from the th stuff that I've seen so far, like, this is a real thing. Um, I don't know how much these rooms cost, but if I paid, like, 500 bucks for a room and just look out look out at this freaking wall, um, I don't know. I'd be a little upset about that, but, you know, that's that's great. We're moving on from that. We're going to the top. This is where I got a lot of the detail work done, and it is turning nighttime, so I'm going to make it daytime. Boo! All right, so we have this nice little uh, bar up here, or I guess, like, a, a club, outdoor club. And, ooh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like the water glitching. Whatever. Um, so we got this, like, bar club thing up here. You know, probably a lot of alcohol consumption, a lot of drugs being done up here. That's all right. It's Vegas. It's going on everywhere, probably. So, um, you know, this is no exception. We got some nice trees up here, palm trees, and these planters with these um, with these bushes and these leaves and these, these plants. That's all nice, all fun, all fun. On the edges, you can see we have these nice little, like, secretive, I guess not secretive, but, like, private little areas. I'm not sure if you like rent these out or if you just like come take one for your own and then just you know have it uh, for a while but um, I didn't look into that I don't really care but you know that's that and then there's some over here too <clears throat> so that is fun that is fun and then down here of course too and then we have these like five jacuzzis down here uh, where you can just chill out in uh, have a good old time and then up here you have the rich person jacuzzi um, or I don't, I don't know who's I don't know what the difference is um, but, you know, this one's just bigger, um, and therefore it is better. Uh, so, yeah, that's cool. And then over here, you can see we have this big old, big old, um, this is supposed to be a curtain, because inside this area, there's supposed to be a, uh, a like, a bar in here uh, with a stage where you can just, like, watch performances from outside here. But I decided I don't want to build that, so I just made the curtain. So, uh, you know, curtain's closed. Uh, we're going to pretend that there's an actual bar uh, and stage in there. Um... So yeah, that's cool. This is a nice little area up here. This is fun to build. And then you have this big portrait thing where, you know, like, you can stand in front of and take a picture of, uh, post on to the Instagram, uh, get a lot of likes, and get famous because, you know, haha, I'm in Las Vegas, you know, live, laugh, love, uh, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the Cromwell. And then right here we have, um, it's just another one of these escalators that lead up, to, or I don't know if they're escalators or stairs, but they lead up and, you know, overpass over the road, so... Yeah, you got a lot of those in Las Vegas. This is just this half, and it'll come up over here, and then come down somewhere around this general area, um, and that'll let you cross this road and go over to Caesar's Palace. 
um, if you so please. But now we're gonna get to the big boy right here. This uh, this uh, actually um, there's a lot less detail here uh, than I did in the Cromwell, uh, but that's just because it's so big. So you know I have to do a lot more detail in this area, uh, you know, since it's so massive. But this is the flamingo. Um, so let's just get started. Actually, let's fly all the way over to here and start on this side. Fly through these uh, ridiculous room windows. Uh, so over here, you can see this is where uh, the Cromwell entrance was, and then right on this side, this is where the entrance to the Flamingo is. So this road, um, I actually haven't finished it, but it would go all the way back there, and you would come in from a, a separate road over there, you would drive up, and then come onto this road, pass all these trees, and then these are some empty planters, which are going to be more or less just this stuff, um, but over here. Uh, and then also the same for all of that stuff over there. But you would come into this roundabout area, and I swear to God, every single resort I've built so far has a roundabout of some sort. Um, I don't know why, but, you know, I guess maybe that's just the most efficient way to do this offloading and stuff. But that's just how they made it, so that's how I made it in the game. And then you have this little hole here. Um, cool natural natural light source. That's fun. So, you know, that's where you get all your stuff and go inside the flamingo and... Uh, you know, check in, do all your crap, and then uh, here's just a little side street between the Cromwell and the Flamingo. A little bit, a little bit of industrial stuff. You know, you got these back doors, um, some cool stuff. A fire hydrant right here. Uh, the sad attempt at a fire hydrant, at least. Um, I'm gonna improve my fire hydrant stuff, um, but you know, let's stop talking about the fire hydrant. We got a tree, uh, some more trees, and a little uh, garage door right there. Uh, they go into a parking lot or whatever. I don't know what's down there, but yeah, now we have the actual flamingo. Okay, let's get into this. So here's a little like pink flamingo art piece. It's not a flamingo, but you know, it's just the pink style. Um, and this entire resort is sort of pink, pink style. Pink is pink and white are like the primary colors because you know it kind of goes with flamingos. Um, so yeah, you got this like cool little pink um, design going uh, around pretty much the entire area uh, of this frontal area. So I think that looks pretty cool, adds a little bit of pizzazz, so it's just not all white. And this is this is supposed to say flamingo, but you know, um, Minecraft limitations and stuff. And then we got these big planters going all the way down here with all these trees and bushes and happy stuff. Um, and in here you can see there's a lot of detail missing. Um, this is a big flat wall, needs a lot of detail still. Big flat wall detail needed, flat wall right there. Um, so yeah, um, I pretty much just made these planters so that it hides the fact that there's a lot of detail missing. So yeah, you can see right here. Ooh, it looks kind of nice. Looks kind of nice. And then you get closer. Oh, detail missing. That's great. Um, so yeah, uh, this detail will be put in before next episode, hopefully. And then these planters right here are empty, obviously. They will be filled in, hopefully, as well. And then here's another little art sculpture thing, similar to that one over there, but just like a different sort of design. And I actually really like this one. I think I like this one more than, the, um, than that one. I don't know why. I don't know why, but, you know, I just like it. And then you have these two dome things right here, um, just looking looking domey and stuff. And then also, I forgot to mention, here's my attempt at writing flamingo in the uh, in the Minecraft language. Um, yeah, it, 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 it came out all right, I guess. Uh, it's kind of floating right now. I'm gonna fix that later on, but yeah, it's just like that for now. So then, if we come over here, you can see some more empty planters still need to be filled in. And then this area, it's either this thing or right over here. One of the two is a Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, um, so I don't know which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it's one of these two. So the Flamingo has a Margaritaville, yay. Um, now let's get to the final piece of the building, the biggest piece. And um, you can see that I have a mix of black stained glass and pink stained glass. And if you watched my last episode, you will know that I have personally patented um, this nice, nice little style of making a, uh, a tinted tinted glass so the stained glass has a further tint so you can see if we come on the inside you'll see so we have uh, this first layer right here which is just the outside you know the black stained glass and then on the inside we have another color in this case it's another black stained glass um, that's just to make it look darker um, so you know you have the normal black stained glass but if you add another layer of black stained glass behind it it looks double black stained glass so that's cool but you can see it actually go into effect right here so you can see we have the black stained glass and then the pink stained glass so if you come over to this side you can see ba bam oh that's crazy you got the black blackish pink um actually this side ooh, this side really brings it out a lot better 
Um, so yeah, that's cool. Wow, look at that. Ooh, I really like this because it's like perfectly the exact same color as it is in real life. So that's really nice. Um, it's like the perfect tint. So yeah, and while I'm ranting about these, uh, how, how beautiful these glasses, this glass is, we can just take a look at the resort or the big buildings um, going all the way around here. It's pretty snazzy. Um, this is pretty much it for the big buildings. Um, there's also a little, little other building right over here that will be there. Um, not there yet, obviously. But then in here, it's gonna be a, like, um, like a big jungle walk pathway area, kind of like a park, I guess. Um, and then there will also be some pools and some bars and some, you know, recreational leisure type stuff that goes on in here. And then you come down here and, like, look at this. Ooh, look at this giant just building, like, wrapping around you. I like how it takes up the entire, like, field of view. So, you know, that just brings out the size of this of this resort and it's really really cool I'm really liking it and I'm really excited to see how this, this inside area is gonna turn out so yeah stay tuned for that that's gonna be all fun and stuff and guys that's pretty much all that I have done this episode um, so tell me in the comments guys what else do you want me to work on um, pretty much every resort here that I've worked on here as um, incomplete in some sort of way um, so yeah you know um, I, I might just you know take an episode to finish up some stuff here and there, you know, finish that stuff, you know, finish some back stuff there, you know, here and there, and, um, yeah, I don't know what's gonna come next, but that's, that's the beauty of it, uh, you never know what you're gonna do until you just do it, um, so, yeah, that's fantastic, um, so I'm gonna let you guys go, have a beautiful day, uh, stay tuned for the next episode, don't know when it's gonna come out, but it'll be out sooner or later, uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that, guys, and until the next video, <gasps> goodbye!